Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a functionality of OSM Release 2 that is about to be released. And this is about uh, deploying data plane connectivity using OSM. Up to now, the only possibility that we had was to use OpenBIM since it has the, the ability to communicate with an SDN controller and through it uh, establish the SDN uh, connectivity. But now in OSM Release 2, we are moving that functionality or we are replicating that functionality at the arrow level. That implies that we can uh, deploy using any beam and provide SDN connectivity. Today I will be demonstrating that, deploying over a Red Hat OSP10. Uh, this is a standard OSP10, and we did nothing special with it. And we are going to deploy in there two virtual machines using pass-through interfaces. And we are going to uh, show using packet gen, the DPDK packet gen, uh, that we can achieve uh, full line rate, bidirectional full line rate uh, using 64 bytes packets. The first thing I'd like to do is to show you the descriptors. Okay, we go to the catalog. And um, here we have the NSD that basically has two BNFs that are both connected to the management network and to a data plane network. Okay, the management is the one that we will be using to access uh, using floating IPs. The data center has been configured in the RO to automatically provide uh, uh, floating IPs for, for access. And uh, the data plane uh, is going to be configured as a data plane network because of the type of the interface in the BNF. If we go to the BNFD, we can see as we have as I was saying, two interfaces. The first one is the type management, and the second one is the type PCI pass-through. So uh, the machines will have these two interfaces, and since uh, we are defining PCI pass-through, we are going to establish the, the network using SDN. The first thing I want to do now is to connect to the RO. and show you that uh, we have nothing, no flows installed in, in the switch. Okay, OpenFlow is just a small script that we made to communicate uh, with the SDN controller. And I'm gonna also show you <clears throat> that in the beam we have no instances running, no VMs running. Okay, project instances. Okay, we have nothing running, so we are going to instantiate. Pick it gen. Over an OSP10. Okay, this was red hat internal. This is the name of the network that we have in the beam connected to a proxy, so we can to a router, so we can get a floating IP. I'm gonna also add an SSH key to be able to access, and we are ready to go. Okay, while it's deployed, <clears throat> the idea is that once OSM release two is uh, released, uh, I'm gonna upload uh, this image I'm using and also the descriptors, so anyone can can try this at home. The the thing is that you can build this image yourself. I mean, this is just a standard Ubuntu cloud where I installed DPDK and also installed the DPDK example package gen, and that's all. It's it's pretty simple. But just for uh, for your convenience, I will be uploading the the image. Okay, so it was uh, quick. It got deployed. Probably, although the VMs are running right now, uh, the operating system in there will be uh, still starting. So I'm giving them a few seconds. Uh, okay, so if I check now, 
the IPs that we got. Uh, I have skipped it at some point. Oh no, I was checking in DNS, not the not the BNF. Okay, here it is. Okay, the floating IP is the floating IP is this one. This one is the the private one. So 191. And the second one is one ninety two. Okay, so one ninety one. 192. Okay. So, uh, if the first thing that we have to do is to ensure that the interfaces that we are going to use are owned by DPDK, have the correct driver load. So, sudo minus c, the directory where I have, where I have DPDK, I have um, a direct access link in the in my folder dpdk slash user tools dpdk and this was uh, the vint minus minus status okay and it's saying me that i have two interfaces the management and the data plane one so what i want to do is to put this second interface i want to uh, use the digv uao uh, driver so dpk can use it okay and the second machine as they are exactly the same will have the same pci address but i'm gonna show you okay so we have same exactly the same i'm gonna also load in dpk if i repeat the command now we'll see that we are now using a different driver. Okay, and now we are ready to go. So uh, cd dpd uh, packet gen, that is also a link I have. And the same here, cd packet gen, and we just invoke the, the application. Okay, so we are calling the application where we'll be using seven cores to to manage the the transmitter and receiver for port zero. And exactly the same here. Okay, so we have the application, we just do a start and the number of the port. And we are going to see here, okay, you can see it, and also in here, that we have bidirectional almost full line rate. This almost is because we are using 60, 64 size packets, so we are getting a very good performance, uh, almost full line rate. I mean, it's just because of the, of the size of the packet. And this is deployed using pass-through using uh, OSP10 and the connectivity is being performed through OSM that we are calling directly to the SDN controller. I'm going to show you that if now we run exactly the same command as before, we can see that the two flows that have been installed are creating that connectivity between the two pass-throughs. We have the port uh, 146 Anything that gets in the in the port 146 gets out in the 120 and the other way around. And this port 146 is the port in the switch that is connected to the port that has been attached in pass through to one of the virtual machines. And the same with the 120 for the other virtual machine. And that's basically everything that I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you can test it at home, at work, wherever you want to try this. Thank you very much for watching.